Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. My name is Saints Fan, and today I wanted to show you guys the top five ways to beat the Oppressor Mark II. So many people complain that the Oppressor Mark II is overpowered, and yes, it definitely is, but there are five pretty good ways to take it out. Now, I'm sure we've all been in a lobby where there has been a griefer on an Oppressor Mark II, and before I get into the five ways to beat him, the easiest way, perhaps, if you just want to ignore it, let it go, move on, just switch lobbies. Maybe that might be annoying, so I guess that's where these five things come into play. Like, if you're playing in a lobby with your friends, for sure, you're going to want to grief that griefer back, get revenge and everything. But if you're just by yourself, you know, just switch lobbies. It's probably going to make your life a lot easier. But the ways to beat the Oppressor Mark II. These are kind of in order, uh, but the top couple ones are... It's kind of just up in the air and what you want to do. Number five, though, uh, this is the least effective, but it still is better than pretty much everything else in the game. And that is the Chernobog. Now, this, the unfortunate part is doing this solo is just not very effective. And the reason is because you have to park this vehicle and then you have to get out the vehicle, go into the back and then shoot the missiles. All while this vehicle has absolutely no armor protection. So... Anyone can blow you up with one missile. And that's, that's, I don't know why Rockstar did that, but it's the way it is. The reason, though, the Chernobog is so strong is because its lock-on distance is like four times the lock-on distance of any other vehicle in the game. You can lock on to people like two miles away. You can be in Sandy Shores and lock on to them. It feels like from the city. It's crazy what the lock-on distance is. And if you have two people, like you're driving it and your friend's in the back, this thing is really good. Now, you do have to stop, I believe, and like hit, I think it's right on the D-pad to get it all set up. You can't be driving, shooting missiles. But if, you par if you're parked in a sort of far off location from the griefer and you're set up to go, then you should be able to kill him. Because once you lock onto him, it's going to take him another 5, 10, maybe even 15 seconds before he can get in range to lock onto you to blow you up. And then that's when you can just spam the missiles and then take him out. Like I said, this one is definitely not the easiest thing to do, but it, it might actually be the safest thing to do because you can take him out before he even knows. So that's number five. Number four, I'm going to put the Stromberg at number four. And the reason is because the Stromberg is the only vehicle in the game that has armor for missiles and also has missiles that it can shoot. Now, this particular method is perfect for solo people but the one issue is that you might end up dying especially with the recent patch because rockstar for some unknown reason decided that the stromberg was too powerful and i think it takes one or two less explosions before it blows up so it's not as strong as it used to be and that's unfortunate now the stromberg the downside kind of on the complete opposite end of the spectrum from the chernobog it has the lowest lock-on distance, I believe. You have to be fairly close to people to lock on with the Stromberg. Once you lock on, though, you're pretty much going to hit them because you can just spam the missiles and you can get them that way. But obviously, the issue is you have to get close to the Oppressor Mark II people, and that might not happen if they're flying in the air. So it is something you just have to maybe lure him in in a, in a way and then take him out. I believe the Stromberg can take like eight, seven or eight missiles before it blows up. Oppressor Mark II missiles. So you do have some time before like he kills you or the person on the bike kills you. But this might be sort of a one-time use thing just because I'm sure the Oppressor Mark II guy will shoot three, four, five missiles at you. And by then your car is going to be smoking after you kill him. So you're going to want to have to switch cars after this. But for a one-time use thing, the Stromberg is the perfect the perfect vehicle to use because then you can actually go dip in the ocean and they can't even lock on to you. So that is number four. Number three, we have the MOC. Now this is purely for defensive purposes. This isn't going to really, uh, I guess, beat an Oppressor Mark II. Not directly. It might beat him psychologically because he might think he can't kill you and you're a hacker or something. But the MOC cab, without the back, you have to actually remove the whole back part. So you're driving just the, the truck part of it. This thing takes, I want to say it's like 70 
two Oppressor Mark II missiles before it blows up. And an Oppressor Mark II only holds 20. So they have to call it or recall it and then call it again three times to blow you up. Odds are they're going to get tired and they're going to leave you alone or they're going to call you a hacker or do something stupid. And maybe that's when you can shoot them if you desire. But the MOC with the without the back part of it is the best way to just troll them. It may be a little annoying that they're just shooting you with rockets, but you just go on your day, completely ignore them. And I found that to be a pretty effective way of beating the Oppressor Mark II griefers. Now, number two, this one maybe does require some skill and it definitely has some negatives to it, but using the actual Oppressor Mark II to battle another Oppressor Mark II. Shocking, right? Now, there is one thing specific you have to do on your Oppressor Mark II. You have to put the chaff, the chafe, I don't know what it's called. You have to put the chaff on. Instead of the flares, you have to put chaff. And the reason is because the chaff system is incredible. Basically what flares do, I mean, I think everyone knows when someone shoots a missile at you, you can shoot the flares and the missile goes to the flares. However, most of the vehicles, weaponized vehicles in the game can shoot missiles consecutively very fast. So while one missile gets directed to the flare, the next two, three are gonna hit you, you're gonna die. Well, what the chaff system does, you deploy it before someone even locks onto you and they cannot lock onto you for I think it's like 10 to 15 seconds. And this is what I do most of the time because no one really expects it. Most of the griefers that are Oppressor Mark II griefers they just have flares on their gun or on their bikes because they don't know anything better. And it's hilarious to hit the chaff, right? Fly towards them, easily take them out all while they're freaking out because they can't lock onto you. It's hilarious to see them like move up and down, go side to side and try and figure out, oh, I can't lock onto them. What's, what's going on? All while you're just being cool, calm and collected, driving straight in, shooting like two missiles, killing them, moving on your day. Now, obviously this doesn't really work if the person you're trying to kill has the chaff system, then, you know, that kind of defeats the purpose. But like I said, I found most of the time the griefers, they have the flares on because they don't know better. The chaff system is the way to go. Pop that when you're maybe behind a building, pop out of the building from behind it, shoot them, and then go on your day. Just got to make sure you got to be kind of quick because you only have about 10 to 15 seconds before they can actually relock onto you. And then you're kind of screwed because the cooldown is like 20 seconds so there is a, a little bit of a time issue there but this is something that i found to be highly effective against the oppressor mark ii griefers i do also just want to say regarding this you can't wait until you hear the the lock on noise you would think you can but that's not how it works you have to use the chaff system before you even hear any noises like if you're just going into a dangerous area use it because if you hear a noise, you hear the missile coming after you, it's too late. Then that brings us to the final way to take out the Oppressor Mark II. This is hands down the best way, probably the, the most overpowered thing in the game. The Runer 2000 fully loaded. You have to have a Runer 2000 for this to work to get this vehicle. But it's actually not the Runer 2000 that you get in your garage. Once you purchase the Runer 2000, which does cost a lot of money, so that's the downside of this way of going about it. You will actually, in your CEO work menu, your interaction menu, you'll get a new mission called Fully Loaded. What this is, is a mission involving the Runer 2000, and it spawns a Runer 2000 for about 20-ish minutes. That is nearly indestructible. It takes like 80 missiles to blow it up, and it has unlimited missiles. But the best part for combating Oppressor Mark II people Oppressor Mark II people, I don't think anyone actually with any weapon can lock on to this vehicle. So an Oppressor Mark II could be right next to you, but they cannot lock on to you. So if they did want to kill you, they have to hit you like a hundred times with their missile in free aim, which is basically impossible. This way you can go after them. They'll be freaking scared. They'll probably go into passive mode. You can take them out, easily kill them. The one uh, downside not sort of relating to Oppressor Mark II people when you are in this vehicle is that the windows are pretty wide open. So people can shoot you with regular guns, mini guns especially. That's how people kill you in this vehicle. But using the fully 
loaded Runo 2000 is hands down the best way to deal with Oppressor Mark II Griefers. For the 20 minutes you have, if your vehicle ever does blow off, so if someone does end up killing you, it will respawn. You just get to go drive to it. You actually will not get cops no matter what you do for those 20 minutes. So that's awesome. And just overall, Oppressor Mark II Griefers are going to be scared when you're in this vehicle because there's literally nothing they can do. So those are the five, the top five ways to beat the Oppressor Mark II if you are looking to do so. Like I said, the best way though is probably just leaving the session. Don't even deal with it. But if you do want to get revenge and you want to get them back, hopefully these ways can help. Thank you all for watching. This is going to do it for this video. Please drop it a like if you did. Enjoy, subscribe for more GTA Online content. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.